What's going on everyone? This is UD. Uh, I'm back again with another Urban Exploration. And today I have an abandoned hotel that we randomly, we found randomly. Don't know the history. Probably gonna look for some paperwork, you know, the usual, to see if we can find um, what this place used to be, what it was called, and maybe the date it was abandoned. So uh, let's get started. All right, straightforward here is a structure that we probably cannot access. Or you see, looks like some fire damage and of course, uh, you know, other weather, rain and whatnot. So you can see this part is completely almost overgrown. Well, especially on the side. I didn't go over that way, but there's a lot of urban decay and some of this place is like virtually untouched. So then we have the bathroom. Oh, huh, this is so weird. All right, dirty tub. All right. Like I said, there, there is a lot of urban decay, decay. All right, this is the kitchen. All right, let's go, let's go ahead and go in here. All right, I'm going to step back so you can so you guys can see. There's a lock on this refrigerator. But here is it's an old school microwave. Let's see what kind it is. So if you couldn't see the number one because of my flashlight, it's pastry, rolls, and muffins. Yeah, it's just crazy that with so much decay in this place that, you know, some of this stuff is just untouched. I mean, I didn't really see any graffiti walking through here. But uh, I'm not sure. So, property of community health and emergency services. All right, we're about to come up on the area that I was talking about. Um, check out this checkerboard floors. I've been finding these lately. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, so this way, this is the way I was talking about. You see all this? decay and oh looks like a lot of water damage so yeah most of this place has probably been uh, destroyed by natural decay seems like your mind is your most powerful resource I agree so, yeah, look at this. Like, no graffiti. It's just really odd. Community Health Emergency Services. 
Yeah, didn't we see this on one of the uh, equipment? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, everyone? Here's Scott. What's say, going on? say what's up. What's up? <laughs> so this is the Community Health and Emergency Services Incorporated. And I can use the signal. All right, look here, guys. Let's check out this plaque here. Main Liner Lodges, constructed in 1979. Wow. Yeah. Illinois Central Gulf R Railroad. Hmm, that's very interesting. Glad I found this. You know, this way I can do a little bit of research on, you know, this property. Hopefully I can find something. All right, everyone, this is another area that is basically untouched. I mean, it looks like somebody's gonna come back to work tomorrow. And right out this window is another structure heavily damaged, just like the very first building in the beginning. Ah, check out some of these pictures. Have something with a date. Do we do we do we the year? Two thousand three. You got a date on that, probably? Yeah, it's two thousand three. It's it's uh it's right here. I don't know if you've seen it, yeah. Right in the top left corner. Um I kind of get the vibes that this was some kind of a community center, you know? I mean, not really a, a hotel or a motel. I, I wonder if they provided housing, though. What do you think? Might have. I mean, could it have been a motel at one point repurposed? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the vibe I'm getting. I'm digging that. Yeah. Um, how are you liking this place? It was... I, it, it was a little bit um, unexpected. Yeah. Some of this place is untouched, no graffiti. I mean, did you find any graffiti? No, no yeah. not at all. It's literally a time cap. I feel like this is a time cap. So yeah, yep. Yeah. It's, it's neat. Um, did you find anything cool? Um, like any of uh, the other buildings or whatever? What's happening? Sorry. Yeah, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. That just, that gets me. Oh, man. What oh. happened, bro? I gotta stop. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't stop recording. Whatever you do. Oh, my God. There's a snake right in my freaking face. Oh, oh a, a snake? No, 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 no. We're going, we're going, we're going. Yeah, we're yeah, ready. let's go. Okay, I'm in. Where's the snake? We oh. were just talking about that, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we, we ran into uh, possibly a snake. Oh. Now, I was outside, and I seen a huge... Um, snake skin that was shedded so we're gonna go take a look and see if we can find that baby what Missouri listen I don't care <laughs> where's the snake at bro I'm looking right at it man. <laughs> you looking at it yeah it's moving just wait hold on let me go in oh it's a black snake come oh, on damn. man I don't see it look up Dan right there hey buddy you got any friends? Oh, yeah. You got any friends? Yeah, that baby is. Hey, you guys see this? Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at that old phone right above him. Holy cow. I had to go to that door and now there's no way. Look, there's a key. No, there's not. Is that a key? No. 
What's oh. going on, little dude? Oh, yeah, what you he's know? just chilling. Yeah. yeah, he is. He doesn't. He's not even coiled. So we'll go through the door then. Coil. Right, you can... Means that they're probably more in the roof, right above. He's there. got little jagged teeth. Rat snakes have little jagged teeth. They don't have. Uh, they don't have fangs. He's not a venomous snake. He can still hurt you. Uh, scratches. So I shouldn't get close. Uh, he could latch onto your finger, and that would be about it. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside. I'll see y'all, man. You, you and I are obviously not afraid of snakes. <laughs> Rat. Yeah, it's crazy. First adventure, we run into a snake. See you, bud. I wonder what else is going going to pop out. Every animal on this planet has the right to live, if you ask me. Right, right. All right, everyone. Um, I'm going to go outside and check out this structure in the back for you before we leave. I mean, I'll go with you, but it's destroyed. It's destroyed? Yeah, uh, I still have to film it, though. Okay. All right, thanks, my man. Watch for snakes. This part of the building is completely destroyed. And I am betting that there are tons of snakes in this part. All right, let me uh, walk around this side. So when I was telling you earlier about finding uh, snake skin, this is where I found it at. So this baby, it's pretty long. I don't know if it's the snake that we just seen earlier, but yeah, here it is. So no, I'm not afraid of snakes. Um, the only thing I'm afraid of is butterflies. Uh, for some reason, uh, I cannot stand butterflies. Cannot stand them. But everything else, I mean, pretty much no fear. Good luck on that side. Um, I just seen a big uh, snake skin. skin. Yeah, did yeah, you see Yeah, that's it? what Aaron was saying. Yeah. Like a, like a big rat skin? Yep. I don't know if it's the one that we seen, but. No, that is, uh... oh boy, that's, that's a cotton mouth. That's a cotton mouth? Yeah. Is it cotton mouth? You sure, bro? Yeah. We got him in Missouri. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, well, let's go back inside, guys. Well, actually, uh, I'm probably going to wrap up this video. Um, so I would like to thank you for joining me on this adventure. Um, I got a ton of places that we're going to go to today. So uh, I'm going to head that way and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.